Hello everyone, I'm Sugarface Cheesy Melt. As you can see, there's some movies in front of you. Yes, I indeed bought some new movies. And they're pretty awesome. And yes, I will tell you where I got them from. Now, let me get let me get all situated. Is the camera good? Okay, that's that's good. I don't want y'all to be lopsided. So, welcome. How's your day going? It's going pretty good for me. Um, I went grocery shopping. Got some groceries. Um. Uh, Also bought me some new movies today. Now some of these movies I bought like a week ago. And some I bought. Like at the end of the month of November. Blah, 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 blah. At the end of the month of December. I bought some of these at the end of the month of December. So remember people. I don't buy movies. All the time. <laughs> It's like a once a month type of deal, based, basically, basically, basic, basket, biscuit. I can't speak. So this is the end of December, and some of January of movie buying. What up? Did y'all go grocery shopping today? I bought some Doritos barbecue flavored. They're not that good. Like at all. They taste weird. Maybe barbecue chips. I don't like barbecue chips that much. Do y'all like barbecue chips? Let me know in the comments if you like barbecue potato chips. Because they have barbecue Doritos now. It's not very good. Where's the blah, blah, blah. Where were I? Where were I? Ba ba doop ba doop ba dee doop. Why can't I speak today? You know what? We're gonna do the intro over. Because this whole thing has gone crazy. I'm Sugarface Cheesy Melt. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below. And let's start talking about the movies I bought. So, first I want to show you VHS tapes. Yes, I still buy VHS tapes. I'm that person. I like old media. I prefer physical, but I do like to buy VHS tapes time to time. And I got this at a drift store. I did check the cases before I bought them. Because when you buy old VHS tapes, remember the rule. Always check the tape. Because it might be cut. Also, they had a blank like recorded tapes there. I was going to get it, but I thought, you know what, one of these recorded tapes might have some nasty stuff on it. And I don't feel like buying someone's homemade sex tape. So I didn't get it. I only got this. So we got we got Super Troopers on VHS. Awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it now. You can watch it anywhere. It's all over the place. One of the best movies. This This is a classic. Yes, they did make a sequel. I haven't seen the sequels. I only, I've only seen this one. The next VHS tape I got is New Jack City. Because New Jack City is good on all formats. You know, VHS, DVD, HD DVD, Blu-ray, Ultra, 4K HD DVD, Blu-ray, whatchamacallit. This is New Jack City. I urge everyone go watch it. You will love it. You will fall in love with Pookie. There's a character named Pookie in the movie. He's he's amazing. He's a crackhead. You will love him. He's played by Chris Rock. So Chris Rock is named Chris Rock. And he's addicted. He's addicted to The Rock. Huh. Go watch it.
This is a good movie. And Speed. Now, before you start yelling at me in the comments, just remember. It's Speed. Okay? I know it's not good. It's horrible. This is one of the most terrible movies ever created. But it's good terrible. You can make good terrible movies. This is one of them. <laughs> it makes no sense. Why will you put a bomb on a bus and you have to go a certain speed? <laughs> you have to keep the bus to 166 uh, miles an hour or we're going to blow up. That is stupid, but it's fun stupid. And it has Keanu Reeves in it. And mall rats. Now listen. Listen, I know what you're going to say. I know it all too well. I like some of Kevin Smith's movies, okay? I know he had some beef with Clownfish TV. I love Clownfish TV. But that's not going to stop me from buying Mall Rat on VHS. Which is weird because, you know, his movies do come out on DVD and streaming. But I prefer just to get a VHS copy of it. I paid 50 cents for this. <laughs> 50 It's 50 cents at a drift store. VHS tapes, you can get you can get two for a dollar. Exactly. Yes, I'm telling you, get two for a dollar. Good deal. Now, yes, I did. <laughs> two for a dollar. I paid two dollars for everything. <laughs> oh. Yes, VHS tapes are good purchase are a good thing to buy to have in your collection. But remember, don't go buy every VHS tape you find. Just buy things you like and love. Me, I love mall rats. I love speed. If you don't like a movie, don't buy it on physical. Because you end up having a thousand movies that you don't like. And 50 movies that you absolutely love. <sighs> and it just takes up space when you have stupid movies on your shelf. That's why you need good movies on your shelf. Like Mall Rats. Also, shout out to Clownfish TV for being awesome people. I do watch them. Moving on. I enjoyed Mall, Wat, Mall Rats. When Kevin Smith, remember. Exactly. Let's move on to the DVDs. Well, the Blu-ray. Uh, there's only one Blu-ray. Okay, we're only going to have one Blu-ray this time. <laughs> there's only one Blu-ray, and it's this collector's edition X-Men Days of Future Past. This is a pretty awesome case. So, look, look. We have we have a little comic in here, as you can see. Those the sensel sensel sensies, sensel sensel. We have um, oh, Jim Florence as Mystique. Oh, good lord. I forgot she was Mystique when I bought this. Oh, my God. Oh, good Lord. Why did I buy this? <coughs> I forgot she played Mystique. <laughs> I can't stand her as Mystique. <laughs> I cannot stand Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique. I know a lot of people love her as Mystique and says she played the best Mystique. But to me, she played nothing. She lose. She gets nothing. Even though she invented everything. Did you know that Jennifer Lawrence invented Clownfish TV? Look it up. Look it up. You got Riverine. You got Professor Xavier. You got... Magneto. You have, oh my god, it's Beast. And you have the people who died, people with X's on their faces. I don't know why they killed them in the sequel, but I like it. I don't know why I like it, but I like it. 
Magneto. You have to do a demon voice when you say his name. It hurts to do demon voices. Yes, this is a collector edition Blu ray ultimate edition Holla Bat Girl collection. This was a good purchase, even though I hate. Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique. I cannot stand her as my favorite superhero character. <sighs> Gets on my nerves every time. What is your favorite X-Men movie? Let me know in the comments down below. If I can get it in the case. I do. I did enjoy Days of Future Past. It was the best. First Class was good, but this was the best one. Out of all of them that came out, this this is the best one. Let me know in the comments which one you like. Now, let's leave the Blu-rays over here and go on to the DVDs. Hit the hit it over here so y'all can still see it. So y'all can see it in the background. Oh no, it fell over. Now for DVDs, we have. X-Men. This is the first movie that came out. It's a little battle damage. I have to clean that. But it's I like it. I had this case a long time ago, but I don't know what happened to the movie. And I was at Second and Charlie's looking around like, I need something awesome. What can I buy? Oh, X-Men. There it was. So now, now all I need is X-Men 2. X2. That's what it's called. This is a very metallic case. I like it. Also, I already checked all the discs. They're clean. This, I've never seen before. It's called Legend. And it has Tom Cruise in it. Cool. Cool. I'll watch that later. Also, I got the a Fast and the Furious franchise collection. This, this was the first two movies. Because they didn't know if they was going to make a third one. So they just went ahead and, had a, they just went ahead and made a collector's edition. And I remember this because I saw it at Walmart back in 2001 or four, one, I don't know. I saw it in Walmart. Yeah, these are the collector's edition shiny metallic cases. You know, the first two Fast and the Furious that had to do with racing. Then it went from racing to spy stuff and taking over the world. So fast and the this the hair on it. Ew. Yeah, this this is a good I like this. I like Tokyo Drift. Oh, sneak peek at Tokyo Drift. I was about to say there's no Tokyo Drift in this collection. I found this a second at Charlie's. Second at Charlie's. Second and Charlie's, second and Charlie's, a drift store. So, we got second and Charlie's all right here. And I found this one at second and Charlie's as well. This is Lawrence of Arabia, 1962. I've never seen this movie. So, I am excited about it. And it comes with a little booklet. It won seven Academy Awards. Yeah, it must be good if it won one of those pathetic trophies that celebrities give to themselves. Yes, I don't like the Academy Awards, the Golden Globes, the Emmys. I see them as pathetic because it's not a real trophy given to you by your fans. It's a trophy given to you by celebrities who don't watch the movies. Other celebrities who don't ever watch the movies, they're like, yeah, I, uh, I've seen it maybe, I don't know. But your true fans who pay the $8, $10, well now $12 to go see your movie, their trophies would mean more. And I made up a trophy. I made up an award show called the Green Flame Awards. 
is where I give a green flame to one of my favorite directors, writers, artists, actors, and everything in between, a green flame. Because I enjoyed your movie. And the next thing I have over here on the side, which I didn't want to show y'all just yet. I have it on the side right here. This person, who I love so much, I would give a green... I gave her a Green Flame Award. Now, I didn't really give her one. It's just, you know, just a thing I'm, I'm saying. Hello? Hello? The camera cut off. I think I pressed something. What was, what was I saying? Oh, I gave a hypothetical Green Flame Award to my favorite writers, directors, and everybody in between that show my respect for them and the art they made. And the next person I absolutely love. She is one of my favorite writers. She created something so amazing. And I'm glad I found this at Second and Charlie's. Because it's one of the best purchases that I ever made. Now. Time to show y'all. This awesome box set. Of Harry Potter movies. J.K. Rowling is the person I was talking about. If. If. I could make a real a real green flame trophy. I would send her one because I love J.K. Rowling. She's awesome. We have Hold on, let me let me do this. We have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is my favorite Harry Potter movie. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And last one that I found at Second and Charlie's. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It comes with all of this awesome stuff. DVDs, a booklet, pictures. They all come with cool collector's edition. As you can see on the back. Oh, this is fantastic. I enjoy it so much. I am so happy I found this. I was just looking at... I was... I was walking around the store thinking, oh, there's nothing good here today. But then I came across these box sets. These box sets are the best thing I've ever found. And I have a feeling that some of these, okay. Okay, there are DVD, all of them are DVDs. But why are some of them bigger than the other ones? Hmm. Oh well. I thought they all have that 3D thing on them. And yes. Let me put them in order so y'all can see them. Now they didn't have years seven and year seven and eight or year one and two. But they did have these. So I'm gonna have to look online to see if I can find the all the other ones so I can have a complete set. Isn't that amazing? Look at it. Oh, uh, JK Rowling is awesome. If I get a trophy made, I'm gonna have it made out of glass in shape of a green a green flame, and I will send it to JK Rowling because she is one of my favorite writers. Look, Harry Potter, Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts for lewd pictures, <laughs> lewd pictures, what the heck did I say?
Uh, do y'all want me to open them? Okay, I will. I will open Prisoner of, of Azkaban. So this is what this is what it looks like. Oh, so precious. I might ditch the dust covers and make something out of them. Because dust the dust covers are pretty damaged. So, so we got that. Yeah, I might uh, do something cool with the dust covers. Because really don't need the dust covers, to be honest. Oh, we got a little battle damage right there, but that's okay. Yeah, this one, I think this one has a little tiny scratch on it, but not enough where it make the movie skip. Uh, that's so awesome. Look at it. Look at him. He's like, I am the half-blood prince. So awesome. <laughs> so... Which Harry, which Harry Potter movie is your favorite? I love Goblet of Fire. Because that's when uh, Hagrid... I mean, not Hagrid, but Dumbledore was going to beat Harry's ass. <laughs> when he came in all uh, mad, like, Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Harry, Harry was like, No! Did you get someone else to do it? <laughs> Harry was like, No, I didn't do it! <laughs> so, which Harry Potter movie is your favorite? The Goblet of Fire is mine. Well, this ultimate collection of Harry Potter movies. Oh, I love it. I love I love everything about it. Look at them. And now I need to find the rest of the collection. But if I don't, I'll be ha I'm happy with this. If I don't find the rest of the collection, I'm still happy with this. And J.K. Rowling, you get a Green Flame Award. Yes. For being one of the greatest writers that produced something amazing. Harry Potter. I know you try to do other books. But nothing was as popular as Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. My Green Flame Awards. Should I make that a YouTube? Should I make that a video? Like do a, a video of uh, making a little Green Flame trophy. And making a list of. Artists that I love. I might do that. That sounds interesting. Call it the Green Flame Awards. With your host, Sugarface Cheesy Melt. And performing, no one, because I don't want to copyright claim. You know what? Performing, uh, Jelly Roll. Because I like his music. I like Jelly Roll songs. Musical performance by Jelly Roll. Hosted by Sugar Face Cheese Melt, musical guest Jelly Roll. That's gonna do it for this video. I just want to say thank you for watching. Sorry that it stopped at one point. I don't know what happened. And um, leave a comment down below. Also, before I go, I don't think I show them on camera. But I will give a glimpse of the movies that are on the shelf. So. Thanks for thanks for watching. See y'all later. Bye.